nine lakh twenty four thousand five hundred rupees. This is the exact amount of money that I made in one month back in December two thousand twenty two as a full time college student managing my exams, placements, and college. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the exact sources, the exact amount of money through each of them, how I built them, and most importantly, how can you, as a full-time student, build these sources and earn multiple lakhs every single month? It doesn't matter if you're a school student, college student, or a working professional. This video is going to be a game changer for you. I mean, not just this video. The next three videos on this channel will be about how can you, as a full-time student, earn money, starting from very, very basic things like ten thousand rupees a month to advanced level stuff to earn in lakhs every single month. Wait for those videos in the coming weeks. But for now, this video. <laughs> Getting into it, there are seven of these sources. We'll be starting from the least amount of money and go to the highest amount of money. First things first, sounds like a joke. Affiliate income. So if you go through my previous videos, I have some of the links of the products that I use in the description. And whenever someone clicks on it and buys it, I make a commission. This is typically between 0.5 to 10 percent. I link the website below for more information on the commission. But I made around 2,400 rupees using Amazon affiliates. Also, some affiliate programs pay you much more money than this. For example, some of the trading apps and crypto apps they pay 50 percent of the trading amount paid by the person whom you referred. We'll be talking more about the best affiliate programs in the next set of videos. But for now, the next source. Being a teaching assistant in the college, I was earning something around ten thousand to fifteen thousand rupees a month. Let's just say twelve thousand a month in the college. So basically, if you are studying in a good college like an IIT, and if you have a good academic score, you can become a teaching assistant to the first year students in their labs. So I was in mechanical engineering department, and my CGPA was eight point two. So I was paid around twelve thousand rupees a month during a semester to go to the labs a couple of times a month and explain whatever I learned in my first year to the first year students. So basically, free money if you are studying in a good college. Next up, we have the YouTube income, the spice, the AdSense revenue. I earned around thirty-nine thousand rupees during that month back in December. Basically, this is the amount of money that creator earns when audience watch the ads before and during his YouTube videos. And this money hugely depends upon the niche and also the demography of the audience. So basically, if you are making videos about finance or tech, you'd earn a bomb. But you'd be comparatively earning less if you are in entertainment. Beauty and stuff. Also, if more number of your audience are from US, you'd be earning much more when compared to Indian audience. Almost 4x to 15x ka difference hoga. That's huge. I also earn less YouTube adsense when compared to creators of the same size because half of the times that the songs that I use in my videos are copyrighted. Some people ask me like, why Tarun? Why are you using copyrighted music then? Because sometimes I just feel that the vibe of the video is much more important than. Some extra money in the bank. But anyways, next up we have some serious money coming in. Basically, things which can replace your full-time job. Tutoring students. You don't even know how much money you can make here. People usually think, "Yar, kya hai yar? Tuition lena hai? Nahi yar." That was the condition before the internet era. Right now, some edtech brands started paying students from the premium institutes around thirty thousand to one point two lakhs every single month to take thirty hours to eighty hours of classes every single month. You know some teachers on the edtech platforms get paid around 1 CR to 2.5 CR every single year just to take online classes for students. That's some serious amount of money. Basically if you can teach anything of IIT JE neat coding related stuff you can make a bang for the next 3 years at least. Uske baad I feel this field will be thoda sa less demanding but anyways that month I earned around 90000 rupees by tutoring online. And then comes our bigger shark. This man by far is one of the best things in the list. Brand integrations and promotions. Creators earn shit amount of money by brand integrations and promotions. Even I started my content creation journey after watching Ali Abdal's How much I earned in 2020 video. And I believe every single person who's watching this video should start creating content as soon as possible. Because four to five years later, it will be very difficult for you to raise to the top because the competition is rising and AI has made content creation so much easier already. Just look at this slide. On an average, a creator earns. This much amount of money every single month. I also have a full-time job in a startup, and I recently started leading the influencer marketing team for one of the categories. And my team has closed around 30 influencers in a week. I myself negotiated huge amount of deals to the creators. Sometimes I just feel, man, I should just quit the job and become a full-time content creator and create like one video every single day. Anyways, that month I made 1.8 lakhs. Through brand promotions and integrations. So it doesn't matter if you're a school student, college student, or a working professional. You should start creating content already. I mean, just wait for the next couple of videos, and I myself will personally walk you through the exact steps of how you can become a successful content creator. Chalo, now next comes the next big part: brand shoots and freelancing. See, I started freelancing as a video editor in the second year of college. Went all the way down from 100 rupees per editing one video. 
to 30,000 video for a 30 second brand commercial in just two years. The right network and getting a referral from the existing client that you have is the best way to go. If you want me to talk about more of this freelancing in the next set of videos, just stop this video right now, go to the comments below and ask for it. Because at that point of time, I'll understand that my audience are interested in listening to this. And then I can talk about freelancing in the next set of videos as well. But overall, there are brands like Grow, Grow Plus, An Academy, Stepathon by Half, which I worked with, and overall I made around 2.6 lakhs in revenue that month. We are also teaching all these things to the students present in my course and after multiple requests by multiple people, we are finally opening a special batch for November. And you can finally enroll to it right now. There are limited seats again. Don't ask me when the seats get filled again. I'm not going to open it just like the last time. We got full sold out in 37 hours last time. You just have a three day deadline to buy it. But anyways, here comes the next source, the agency revenue, which was 3.8 lakhs that month. This is again a very good business to start. One of my friends, Ishan Sharma is doing it. Akash Majumdar is also doing it in a very small scale. AVTV, Varunmaya, Okus and Martin are also going to start this business. Guys, trust me, content creation is already big, but it's going to be bigger in the next coming years. So either you start creating content for yourself or help content creators through script writing, video editing, designing or something like that. You'll definitely thank me later. And now finally the revenue through all of these sources sum up to be 9,24,500 rupees. That was the highest amount of money that I made in a month during 2022. Now before you leave this video, there are two more important things that I want to talk about in the next one minute. First, the less important thing. This amount which I mentioned before a while is revenue. I also had a full-time manager working for me. I also had editors. I had more editors in the agency. So overall, less profits. Second, the most important thing. The point of this entire video is to show how much you can earn while still being a student. Getting into IITs or other prestigious institutes is good. It'll give you a head start. But just getting into these good colleges should not be the end goal. The end goal can be to get financially free as early as possible in life. There are so many unconventional good ways of earning money which are very, very, very underrated at least in South India. Because I myself belong there. I did not have a phone until I came to college. I did not have a laptop until I came to second semester of college. You at least have that right now if you're watching this video. So start working hard, start exploring things. There's so much opportunity for people who wake their ass up and work hard every single day. I'll help you to the best level to cover all the aspects of money, personal development, studies if you're a student. I can just be your mentor, but at the end of the day, you have to do it yourself. Got it? This video was about me, but the next set of videos will be about how you can earn in lakhs while being a student. We'll talk about the best versus the worst things that you can do to earn money online and become the best version of yourself. I'll see you very soon, maybe in a week or something. Bye-bye. Yo, yo, microphone check, make it a microphone check. Give it a microphone, I make them make it a microphone dead. Don't step to me, newbie, I could truly be moody. I could have played the fucking Grinch in the movies. I've been a... <gasps>